What's up guys welcome back and in this video we'll be taking a look at opening links so I'm going to show you a couple of different methods and basically I basically use just one of the methods I'm going to show you because sometimes some methods just don't work. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop in a button right here I'm going to say uh, go to google and that's it it's going to do it's going to go to google other than doing what I just said, how to do control it, just drag that into the center, control drag, and I'm just gonna say go Google to connect. So, uh, because it's leave it like that. I do that for if statements sometimes, but whatever. So, I'm just gonna say you I app application dot shared shared open and the url is going to be some sort of we'll just create a function here found open url for url it's going to be some sort of a string we can just say guard guard let url is equal to url of the from a string of course of our url we can do something on it and it's actually called info screen if we can convert that to a url we're, we're going to continue if we can't we're going to just return then we're going to just copy paste here and the url is our url and we're not going to be worried about that completion handler no one needs it for now and instead of uh, doing this we can just say open url for um you don't need that part we'll just leave it as a url it's going to be https colon slash slash www.google.com and hopefully the url is open that is um google i misspelled it my bad head over to a simulator and of course I was trying to install Mac OS Catalina but I don't have enough space in my Mac so that's that go to Google so as you can see it is loading 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 for quite a long time actually so we'll just leave it at that for now. So as you can see, it is able to open it, but it's just taking time to launch it. So now instead of doing it this way, there's a much more efficient, better method, and that is by importing Safari services. Head down to the open URL function and just say, uh, let Safari you controller is equal to sf safari view controller which takes in some sort of url which is going to be this url right here so paste that in there and we're going to say present this safari view controller and animated true so now oh, this is what i mostly use by just using safari view controllers and the main reason is that it is just uh, more efficient and it gives you all the benefits of safari and stuff like that so hit go to google google.com loading and that was actually much faster uh, google app is an easier no thanks i can do whatever i want i can search for swift ui and there we go we can do whatever we want All the benefits of Safari, we get that. What does that do? I've never seen this in uh, phones before, so first time I'm actually seeing it on a phone. Hit done, and we're back to this original screen. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. But before we say bye, I do not like these kind of knots and stuff. So what I do is I option click on the target, and over to environment variables in this run. We have the environment variables right here, hit plus and 
all in caps lock os underscore at activity underscore underscore mode and the value is nothing but disable and when we when we launch it or we don't get that garbage down there so i'll see you guys all next time and thank you for watching and subscribe and like and bye